Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Android 16 Developer Preview 1. I installed this on my Pixel device yesterday on a live stream. If you want to check out that installation process, it is on the channel. Um, there is no OTA update available for this as it is a developer preview. Um, OTA updates won't be available um, until the beta series in a couple of months. Um, we do have some uh, very few changes here, but there are some nonetheless, so we're going to go over some of those right now. And uh, just keep in mind, this is a Pixel 9 Pro XL. Uh, some phones have other features that they got. Some phones, um, you know, obviously the Pixel 9 series is going to get the most. Um, but right now, during the developer preview stage, um, not all features are available on all devices. Um, so if you see somebody that has a feature, um, like there's an extra low brightness feature that some people have, I for some reason don't have that on mine right now. Um, if we go to battery, um, we don't have the adaptive charging option to set the 80% limit. Some people do have that. Um, if I was on QPR beta one on uh, Android 15, I got the option there, but not in other builds. So it really just depends on the build and what is enabled, I guess, on server side for your device. Not really too sure what is um, what determines um, what features are showing up for what people, but. Um, right now, not all features are showing up on all devices. Um, so we have that. Um, one other thing we do have, if we go back here to display and touch, if we go to the colors mode um, or the colors options, there is an extra uh, option down here called experimental mode. Um, so we have natural. And then experimental mode is kind of uh, like a warmer natural. Um, I always keep it on adaptive just because it's cooler colors. I think it gives better, better, more vibrant colors. So that's what I've always used. Um, but if you prefer a, prefer a warmer uh, tone then experimental mode is down there again. It is just that experimental. It may not be here in future releases It may not come to Android 16 um, at all We don't know We still have the modes um, section up here that we got in Android 15 QPR uh, 2 beta 1 so that has carried over to this build of Android 16 as well um, we do have some new animations, so if I put the phone to sleep, all this is just stock stuff that was already in Android, the clock and everything, I just have my clock set to a different one. Uh, and before you guys ask, um, this wallpaper is just from Google, just Google Android 16 wallpaper, um, and you can find this on there. I just downloaded it and set it as my wallpaper, nothing special. Um, so as you can see, uh, let me just try that again, I was trying to do face unlock, Oop, I locked myself out because I kept uh, trying to do face unlock, we'll try that again. Um, on Android 15, there was no animation for the, um, uh, what should I call it up here? The at a glance section. Um, there was no animation for that. It would just pop on screen. Uh, now when you unlock, that kind of fades in and slides in uh, just like the icons do. Um, so that is a nice touch. I feel like the animations on opening and closing apps and stuff like that um, is a lot smoother and it kind of just sucks back into the app icon or the widget. I don't really remember that being as pronounced or even there in Android 15. You guys can comment below whether it was or wasn't, um, but that was one thing I noticed when I first uh, started using Android 16 is that it um, the animations feel a lot more snappy and just more fluid overall. Um, as you can see, we still have our sleep animation where it kind of goes over to the power button um, and then we wake it up and it kind of fades in across the screen. All that kind of stuff is still there. Um, and that's really it right now in um, Android 16 Developer Preview 1. Of course, we will get more features and changes added uh, in the next Developer Preview. And when the beta starts, um, I think in January is when the beta is scheduled to start uh, with a Developer Preview Update 2 in uh, December. So if you have a Pixel 6 through Pixel 9, you can install this. Like I said, you do have to um, flash it with the Android Flash tool. You have to unlock your bootloader. You do have to wipe your device. Um, so if you're comfortable with that, it is pretty stable. The only issue I have had is sometimes when I wake up my device, my screen brightness will be set all the way to 0%. Um, I always leave my brightness at like 85 to 90%. And as you can see, adaptive brightness is turned off. And all I will do is have the phone asleep like this. I'll unlock it and it will be at 0%. It's happened about four times in the past 24 hours um, that I've been running uh, Android 16 Developer Preview 1. So keep that in mind. That's really the only major issue I've had. All my apps are still working. Uh, I did relock the bootloader, so I'm not having any security issues with apps or apps that think the phone may be rooted. Um, all my apps did start running normally once that bootloader was relocked. So that is Android 16 Developer Preview 1 on my Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. If you're running this on device and you have a feature that I don't, let me know what it is and I can see uh, when I get it. 
we'll go over it. And I just kind of want to compare what uh, what feature sets everybody's getting on their device that I may not have or what I have that you may not have. So let me know down in the comment section below. You guys don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.